What's up my people, Joel from Technological here. And today I wanted to talk about my experience playing with these two devices for about the last month, three weeks. Uh, I ended up getting the Neo Mini V4 about a month ago and then about th a week later I ended up getting this Neo Mini Plus device. And I've been using both devices for the last three weeks I would say. And I've been loving both of them and I kind of wanted to talk about w which my, my use cases for both of them and how I used them at the time. So uh, if you've seen my previous video, I did install Onion OS, which is a custom firmware for the Mew Mini and Mew Mini devices. And it is a absolute game changer. I would definitely recommend watching that video so you can see all the features that I showcase on that video. But I wanted to sh talk about just how I've been using these two devices. And it comes in really handy at the time because as you can see, I have a finger injury at the time, at the moment. and. Uh, Playing one hand uh, the devices is actually coming in very clutch. So I've been able to play a game still since gaming is such a big part of my life. Uh, even when I have an injury to my hand, I still want to find ways to game. And this has been the way the Mew Mini V4 definitely has saved me, as well as the Mew Mini Plus. So recently what I've been playing a lot on the Mew Mini V4 here is, let me boot it up. I've been playing a lot of different Pokemon games and Pokemon ROM hacks just to since you only really need one hand for Pokemon games for the most part, it's been relatively easy. Uh, but I just wanted to show off some quick stuff on how I use both devices. So usually when I'm home, I play with the Mew Mini Plus because it is bigger screen, it's easier in the eyes. But when I am traveling, recently I just traveled to New York City and I had my, it didn't have much room with me. So I brought my Mew Mini v4 instead of the Mew mini plus i brought this with me i kept it in my jacket pocket while i took the subway and things like that and on the plane all of that and it was very easy to just pull this out and play some games on the go what i love the most about this device is once you have onion os is you have this game switcher functionality that i've showcased on previous videos but it really just allows you to just go through all the games that you've been playing recently and pick it up quick and just go right into where you left off and it's really awesome because it saves exactly where you were so once you boot it up you go right back into that save state and it's been really awesome and the cool thing about it is if you have these two devices here you could do uh you could simply just have onion os on one and just swap the sd cards and it'll take all your saves and all of that it even saves where you were in the game your save state so that when you boot up on the other device it'll boot up right away so I just want to show that off real quick. So right here, let's save this state by getting out of here. Let's cancel, there you go. And we're gonna boot this off real quick. Let that shut down completely. And then we're gonna pull out this SD card here. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> and then we're gonna swap it right into the SD card on the Mew Mini Plus real quick. And then we're just gonna boot this up. Uh, here we go. And once this boots up, you'll see that I am able to go right to where I was left off on the Mew Mini V4. Really cool game switching functionality. And then once you have that SD card set up, you could just swap back and forth between the two. So like I said, I've been using this a lot more uh, when I'm home, just because of the bigger screen, it's easier on the eyes. And here we go, pressed up game switcher functionality and you can see I'm right back where I left off. All the games that I'm currently playing are still here. Really cool, really awesome. It's it's a awesome solution for when you just want a quick gaming session, especially when you have one hand. <laughs> but another thing I wanted to show off as well is the fact that the Mew Mini Plus has Wi-Fi while the Mew Mini V4 does not. And what that means is you could use the Mew Mini Plus to update your Onion OS. So recently Onion OS came out with a new uh, beta version, version 4.4. So we're gonna see if I'm able to update this device and then use that same memory card in the other one and we'll have a version four for both. Uh, I just have to find exactly where we go to update. Oh, let's turn on this Wi-Fi here. I'll come back after I set up my Wi-Fi. All right, so I have my Mew Mini Plus now connected to the Wi-Fi, as you can see, and I did a little bit of 
searching around and I think I found out how to update this. So first you would have to go into the apps section of your Mio Mini Plus. You then go into package manager here and you have to make sure that this setting is on. So you go over to the apps tab by pressing the R button and you have to go down to the Onion OTA update. So what that means is Onion over the air update. So we click that to on and then we'll press start to save that. There we go. So now we should have a app here for Onion over the air. So now we click onto this here and let's see if we we're able to download that beta version of Onion OS. So we, you see we have stable and beta. So we're gonna go for the beta here. And 4.4 is there, as you can see, 4.4 is available, update available. I'm gonna press A to continue. And we're gonna download, yes, it's about 411 megabytes. All right. So this should not mess up anything on the device. All of my uh, ROMs and all of that should stay on the device. We'll see if the save states are still there. I think they will be, but we'll check it out once we uh, are done updating here. And the cool things that are brought into this new beta are, uh, one of the major things are um, Netplay for Game Boy Advance, which means you could trade between Mio Mini devices over the air, which is awesome. So if you have two Mio Mini Pluses, for example, you could trade your Pokemon between those two to get those evolutions and things like that. And there's other things as well. Uh, they update to RetroArch to the newest version, 1.119. 1.11, 1. 1.19, sorry, 1.19.1. Uh, there's a new blue light schedule for real-time clock and real-time clock detection as well. And then it also is able to be used with uh, more devices as well now. So we're going through all these updates here. It looks like there's about 58 seconds left. And I'll come back to this once we are done updating, but Seems like everything's going well. So let me just pause this and come back once it's over. Okay, so I just got the alert that the update has been downloaded and now we have the option to apply the update. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes. And it looks like it's downloading and updating all the BIOSes and all of that, which is awesome. 21%, 25%, RetroArch is getting updated. So this is really cool. It's really awesome that you could update your Onion OS directly on this device. You don't have to worry about connecting it to a PC if you don't have a PC handy. If you're on the go and you wanna update your device to the latest firmware, easily you could just do it right through here via Wi-Fi. And then the cool thing is, if you have both of these devices, you only have to update it once and you can update it using this device since it has Wi-Fi. And then once we plug in that SD card into this one, it'll update it as well because the firmware is seated on that SD card. It's not on the actual device itself. And if you want to, you could always clone the SD card by just creating another SD card and basically moving over your, all your files to that one, copying it over, and then you'll have two devices. But I like swapping, that way I could have my save state's always accurate. All right, and it looks like we're up to the end here. Press A to reboot, so we're gonna hit A. Let's see the reboot action and see what happens. And let's see if they give us the 4.4 OS screen right here. Yep, and we see that there, 4.4 instead of 4.31, which is the latest stable one. This is now on 4.4 beta Onion OS. And look at that, fresh onion for you. We've been working hard at work making onion better than ever. Preparing the file systems. Game switcher, like always, easily switch between your recent games. Tweaks, all the tweaks and tools you need to make it your own. Button shortcuts, launch game switcher from anywhere in the main menu. Set custom actions for X and Y. Game list option, press Y in a game list to get specific options for the selected games as well as the entire list. Game core options, 
In game list option, you can customize the emulator core used per game. In game list option, you can now scrape box art for the entire game list via Wi-Fi. That's awesome. And you can easily create or join an online net play session. So this is going to be really fun. Uh, when play when other people start using this more, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different online games that we'll be able to play. And different tweaks are going to help with that as well. There's a new network submenu. All right, we're updating on iOS 56%, 57. And we should be done soon. And then I'll show how it works when we swap it from one to the other. And yeah, hope this works out. Hope this helps out anybody out there who's having trouble understanding how to update to the latest Onion OS. If you have a Mio Mini Plus, it's really easy. If you have just a V4, it's still relatively easy. What you would have to do is just download that new uh, update and then install it onto your SD card via a PC and just you just have to move over all your files and make sure that none of your files get deleted. I always like making a backup of my files every now and then anyway on my PC, just in case. So I usually do like once a week, I just pop in my SD card into my PC and just leave that updated uh, backup on my PC. Just in case the SD card one day craps out or something, you have that there so all your save states and all of that are backed up and you don't have to worry about ever losing any of your progress on any of your games as well as all the roms that you might have collected and built out so just a pro tip there if you have uh either of these devices i would say just always keep a backup nearby and try to keep that backup up to date almost like back in the day when you would update your ipad ipod or iphone on the on your computer just to make sure that you have a save state a backup of your save it's kind of similar to that you want to make sure that you have everything in a in a place on your pc safe so that if you ever do lose uh, the device itself or if your sd card ever gets lost or damaged you have that backup since these devices are relatively cheap and sometimes they could break or you could lose them easily since they're so small it's always good to just have that backup so that way when you just buy a new one, you could just pop in that SD card and you don't have to worry about anything. Pro tip right there. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we're downloading all the latest updates and all the uh, apps. Update complete, rebooting. You see that version 4.4 there on the upper left hand screen. And let's see, we're about to boot into the latest Onion OS 4.4. It's not going to look too different but it's just going to be nice to know that we're on the latest update and this is the beta so we'll see what happens if there is any major updates from now to when the actual stable release comes out and i'll be using this beta for next couple of weeks and see how it runs hopefully it runs well if i see any errors i'll make sure to update you guys as i go uh let's see if our game switcher games are still there yep that is amazing incredible even after updating the OS, all the games that I'm still playing are still there at the safe state that I left them in. Amazing, amazing stuff. Shout out to the Onion OS team for making this one of the best custom firmwares I've ever seen on any device. All right, so real quick, let's just test out my theory about making sure that we have 4.4 on both devices just by swapping the SD card. So we're going to power this down once again. I'm going to take out that SD card. Gonna swap it into the Mi Mini V4 over here. It's a little difficult to get it in there, but you got it. All right, let's power this on, and we should see the Onion OS 4.4 splash screen. Pay attention to this upper left-hand corner up here. Oh, actually, bottom bottom left-hand corner, and this a version 4.4. And as, as you saw, we are on 4.4 now on both devices, really awesome. And we could still use that game switcher functionality by pressing that menu button and you see that we are left off exactly where we were on both devices. Really cool. Let me know if this uh, video was helpful for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And please, please uh, share these videos with your friends and Spread the word because I'm trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark. Uh, we just hit 300. Thank you so much for everybody who subscribed recently. 
uh, it's been it's been an incredible journey in the last couple of months to really uh, take this seriously and be more consistent and uh, hopefully we get to 500 soon and thank you guys so much happy holidays peace